10 for the second time a grand jury has voted to indict former President Donald Trump. This time it's on federal charges related to his handling of classified information while out of office. Thank you for joining us this evening. Trump is said to be arraigned in federal court in Miami Tuesday afternoon. Trump broke the news himself tonight, taking to social media to say he's innocent. As NBC's Alice Barr reports, Trump called this a dark day for the U.S. Tonight, former President Donald Trump has been indicted for a federal crime, a first in American history. It stems from his handling of classified documents. Details are limited as the indictment is still under seal, but two sources briefed on the matter tell NBC News a grand jury is recommending seven charges, including false statements and conspiracy to obstruct. Former President Trump made the announcement himself on his social media platform, Truth Social, where tonight he's fiercely denying any wrongdoing, calling the case politically motivated. I'm an innocent man. I did nothing wrong. And we'll fight this out just like we've been fighting for seven years. The former president is expected to surrender on Tuesday to a federal courthouse in Miami, where activity around the case has ramped up in recent days. The independent special counsel, Jack Smith, who's running the investigation, had originally convened a grand jury in Washington, D.C., but appears to have shifted to Florida, where more than 100 classified documents were discovered at Mr. Trump's Mar-a-Lago estate last year. Also under scrutiny whether the former president obstructed the federal government's efforts to get the materials back. It's just one of several legal cases surrounding the former president who's already been indicted on state charges of falsifying business records in New York. The indictment landing just as the 2024 Republican presidential primary is ramping up with the former president the clear frontrunner, raising the stakes on a politically explosive prosecution. In Washington, Alice Barr, NBC News.